Hi, this is Joel from Can Do Academy and today I will talk to you about how to draw cartoon characters either for animations or for your own comics and uh, I will tell you about a couple of very basic principles and some very basic techniques that you can use uh, to draw your own characters and to do this I'm just going to use some examples from um, some of my own character designs. I'm a professional animator myself and whenever I prepare a new animated film I always design the characters from scratch with some very basic black and white drawings and then afterwards I color them in and shade them in but it all stems from very simple drawings. Okay so I'm going to do a very quick demonstration of how you can draw a simple animal character by um, using some very simple methods. So the first thing to bear in mind when you draw a cartoon character is that you should really start from some very simple shapes initially. So I'm just starting from this kind of slightly oval shape and then I'm going to draw another one here, which is a little bit more sort of oblong. So those are my two basic shapes from which I will draw the character. So right now it looks like nothing, but it doesn't really matter because I've got the main shapes. I can now concentrate on more detail. So once you've got the shapes, you can then um, sort of define the middle of the shapes a little bit. So you need to sort of find out where the center of your shapes are. So I'm just going to open a different layer here and then I can show you that if I do these lines here I can see that these are the kind of the centers of this first round shape and then I can find the center beneath of this round shape here. So now that I've got these sort of basic shapes uh, defined and the center defined I can then draw on top of them. So now that I know that uh, in this um, form here the this is kind of the, the middle of what's going to be the head, I can now start to draw the eyes. And to draw the eyes, I'm gonna go on either side of the, the kind of middle of that shape. I'm gonna draw two eyes like that there. And then in this area here, I'm going to draw what's gonna be the muzzle. So I'm just gonna do that very simply here. So I'm gonna to try to be symmetrical and draw everything here more or less um, you know, in, in the middle of the, the this first shape of the head that I've done. So you can see that things are starting to kind of shape up very slowly. And that's because I've stayed to, uh, you know, the, the, the middle region of all these little shapes. Okay, so I've drawn the, um, the kind of circle of the eyes. So now I could in fact draw the actual irises of the eyes, which would be here. And then I can also start drawing the um, the mouth shape. So it, I want to draw a happy dog. So I'm just going to create this these kind of shapes here. So we can see that um, right now already uh, certain things are starting to line up. So I'm just going to leave the head for a moment and I'm going to concentrate on the body. And as you can see here, I've got the, the I've defined where the middle are of the lower part of the body right there. So this is where I'm going to draw um, the, the actual legs of this little dog. So I'm just going to draw the first leg like that. And then the second leg is going to be here. The reason I don't draw the whole leg is because it's partly blocked behind this line here. So it's behind the body, whereas this one is in front of the body. And then I'm going to draw another leg here in front of the body and another one behind the body like that there. And uh, these lines that you see here, uh, I can just, oops, I can just erase them. So it's not a problem. I'll just get rid of them here. Um, Actually, I've just realized I've made a tiny mistake, so I'm just going to uh, combine these two things. Okay, so I'm just going to erase this line here, and then I'm going to erase this line here. And you can already see that this little dog has got his legs. And uh, now I'm going to create a tail as well, so I can just do like a squishy sort of spaghetti shape, big tail for this dog here. Um, and now the main thing that's missing is really ears and the great thing is because I've got the eyes and the nose in place I can sort of tell that the ears for this dog actually I'm gonna make them more like dog ears sort of a little bit more slanted like that there okay so the ears would be roughly somewhere 
over here. Um, there's a million ways you can do the ears. This is just one of them. Um, you know, the ears could be like this, or uh, there's another way of doing ears that aren't upright. You could actually do ears that are a bit, little bit more sort of lump-sided like this if you wanted, you know. Uh, that would be perfectly fine. There's so many ways to do ears, but I'm just going to keep it simple. I'm just going to um, do ears that are a little bit like this here. I'm going to do an ear just on this side here as well with a few strands. And then um, just like before, I can just erase bits that I don't like. And I can do that. I always do that afterwards. I don't worry about it too much. Just like this. And uh, and now I've pretty much got a so funny looking dog. It's kind of half dog, dog half cat in a way. This this um, guy. Um, but basically, uh, I can do things like I can, um, you know, put uh, sort of black inside his eyes. I can also, if I want to, um, I can make his eyes more prominent. So these are all detail things that you do uh, towards the end. So you should never do the detail of your character at the start. You always leave these sort of things that I'm doing now for the end. So I could, for instance, give him eyebrows, this character, which I will put in here. Um, I can make the top of the eye a little bit thicker, which may means that we can see his eyes better. Um, I can create uh, little bits of reflections in the eyes like this, which is always kind of nice. Uh, if you put reflections in the eyes, it kind of makes them look a little bit sort of more moist and a little bit sort of cute as well. Um, the construction line, lines, which are the blue ones, which I told you about earlier, we can just get rid of them. Um, if you draw on paper, you can draw them very, very faintly, and then you won't really see them. But it is useful having them at the start. Um, so really, you know, we've got the main uh, parts of the, the, the kind of dog character here in place. Um, I can maybe give him few little sort of hairs here as well. Um, you'll notice that I haven't really given my dog any any paws. If I wanted to give him paws, I could do it now because I've got my main, um, I've got the main legs in place so I can give a bit more detail and I could create a uh, little paws now if I wanted to because I don't have to worry about the main shape. It's all in place. I've done all the, the hard work if you like. Um, by making sure that the, the, the shapes are nice and kind of even, which is very important. So now I'm just going to erase the edges of the feet like this here. And I'm just going to give him tiny little toes just like that there, just to make him a little bit cuter. There you go. So that's my first character. As you can see, all he started from was just this kind of funny oval shape and then this slightly oblong um, oval shape. So I, I, I would urge you to try to do the same thing uh, yourself. Um, so I mean it's pretty much there. Um, I can also if I want to I can sort of you know um, create uh, color areas if I want to. So what I could do is I could uh, for instance I could give him an area here into which I can eventually put in some colors. So I'm just going to, I'm just going to show you how that works. I'm just going to delineate an area here. And then I'm going to um, go for like a little li light sort of sandy color that I can just drop in here. Whoops. It's actually, the line isn't thick enough to allow me to do that. So I'm just going to make it thicker now. Okay. So I'm going to try that one more time. I'm going to uh, lighten some area here and then I can make a slightly sort of darker area here and here and the body can also be um, darker so that's pretty much our dog ready one thing to bear in mind whenever you're drawing your characters that it's always good to draw your characters from different angles, not always the same angle. So now I'm gonna draw a cat character that you've seen earlier in my animation from two different angles. So first of all, I'm gonna draw this character from a front angle. So here we have this kind of oval shape, um, and uh, which is a main shape. Here is another one of the main shapes, which is going to be the kind of mouth area. And then another main shape is going to be uh, just here, the kind of the belt that this 
Funny Cat is wearing most of the times. And, um, and then we're going to have some kind of legs and I'm going to keep them really simple for now. I'm not going to worry too much about detail. Um, and uh, so I've got the bones of the character here. Remember earlier I was saying that it's good to keep everything symmetrical. So I'm just going to show you that I've already done that. I've already made sure that everything is, you know, in uh, symmetrical, meaning it's, it's at the same uh, distance from the center um, like this here. So now um, I'm just going to just add little things for this uh, character. If you draw things for animation it's always good to uh, draw your characters holding out their arms and their legs a little bit like this here and then uh, I'm just gonna quickly draw just a, a kind of uh, mouth, again a happy mouth and then the eyes like this here and then just kind of little bits of hair and just detail details for the uh, for for the trousers like this here so we've got a very simple character here but uh, the character is really drawn from the front uh, position which is not always great we, we we need to be able to if we want to create characters for animation and comics we need to be able to draw the very same character from different angles so what we're going to do now is we're going to um, do what we call in animation term a model sheet so what that means is simply uh, we're going to draw the character the same character uh, from two different angles so looking at two different ways and we're going to make sure that the character keeps the same proportion while we're drawing this character so I've drawn this this character from the front now I'm going to whoops I'm going to draw this character same character same proportions from um, I'm just going to redo this I'm just going to draw this character from a three-quarter angle so looking slightly off to the to the side to sort of this side um, and I'm going to make sure once again that uh, all the the distances like this here stay the same so I know where the where the uh, head ends I know where the trousers end and now I also um, should be able to see where um, the legs and so the legs I've just kept them really really simple like like sticks here and um, the the thing I said earlier is make sure you always know where the center of your shapes is so in this case uh, the, the character is looking uh, straight ahead so the, this was kind of the middle of this oval whereas now he's looking from a three-quarter angle so um the middle of this oval is going to be more over here and the character is going to look there so you'll see in a minute why it's so important that um, that I draw these blue lines so now that I know uh, where the middle is of this oval I can start drawing the eyes at either end of the oval and also the mouth at either end of the oval and then I'll align everything in the center like this here so now you can already start to see that this cat is actually uh, looking sideways and that means that the ear that's furthest away from me is a little bit smaller and uh, this ear is a little bit bigger because it's closer to us so I'm gonna draw this ear like this and that ear like that a little tuft of hair I'm going to get rid of these blue lines um, which are sometimes called construction lines. We don't really need them right now anymore because we've done the job of finding out where the character's positioned. And I'm just gonna draw things like the belt, like this here. And, um, and then all we have to do is we just have to draw the detail um, on the character. So, and I can actually, if I want to, I can simply add little bits of character like this here a little, little bits of detail sorry to the character here um, and then like I did before I can just erase things that I don't like afterwards so for instance in this case I probably need to erase these kind of lines here um, and then I can just carry on you know giving detail I could have more detail in 
in his trousers if I wanted to. Um, I could even, if I wanted to at this stage, uh, give him something to wear. I could maybe give him some kind of a t-shirt to wear if I wanted to, like this hair. Matter of fact, I'm just going to do that. I'm just going to make him wear a t-shirt like this. And then remember, you can just erase the things you don't like afterwards. So it's, it's, it's usually good to draw a little bit too much and then to take away what you don't like rather than sort of not drawing enough things, if you like. Okay, so... Okay, I'm not gonna, gonna spend too much detail on him because that's not the point. Um, the thing about drawing a, a cartoon character is that you can really spend this, you know, loads and loads of time if you want. You know, you could spend literally hours fine-tuning your character. And sometimes I do that. Sometimes I spend hours drawing my character and then, you know, inventing more details and colors and shading and all that. Um, but just for, the access, for this exercise, I just wanted to keep it really, really simple so as it's not um, confusing. Okay, so um, now we can see we've got one character um, with two different... Uh, angles. So we've got the front hair and then we've got the three-quarter angle. And uh, uh, sometimes when you do animations we actually um, create in our model sheets we create a third angle and that would be the profile angle. Um, I'm not really going to do it in any kind of detail here but it would roughly it would look sort of like this here if I did do it. Um, you can see that you barely can see his eyes over there. You can just see the kind of mouth hair. Um, like this. Uh, you can see the side of his trousers. You can see the side of his legs. And probably the arms would look... Uh, if, I sp if, I, if I was to draw his sort of digits and things, this this is kind of what... Uh, it would look like if I drew him from an angle I would sort of draw um, you know just so so this is a side or, or profile view um, which we draw in, in animation but it's very useful to do this because it helps you to really get a sense of what your character looks like in different positions and um, it's really good to actually draw your character in different positions and doing different things as well I'm just going to take this this um, pose here so the sort of the front uh, side of the cat and I'm going to show you that you can with just a couple of little lines you can make him look very different so I'm just going to uh, change his expression very quickly uh, just by by using the same the same angle and I'm just going to add a couple of lines here. You can already see he's looking much more sort of mean right now. Sort of narrow-eyed. Um, and then his his uh, mouth is like this. If I wanted to, I could even give him fangs, which makes him look menacing. But I'm not going to do that. Um, so you can see it really doesn't take much. And if I added a tiny bit of tone, just so, you know, a slightly darker color in his eyes then whoops then you could see immediately that um, that you know I've really changed his expression here very very quickly and the other thing to bear in mind is this is great when you draw your characters not just to to do expressions but you, you draw them doing different things as well so um, I'm going to do that with this character here for instance so this guy uh, whoops, I'm just going to show you that very, very quickly, uh, because I've got all, all his sort of basic shapes in place, I can actually change him to make him look like he's playing football. So all I'm going to do is going to, I'm just going to um, do this here. I'm just going to pretend that he's in mid movement, which by the way, it's a great thing to do if you, if you just make your character look like they're in the middle of doing something. It just makes them look very, very sort of vivacious and, and lively and, and animated all in one drawing. So this is what I'm gonna do. Same character, same position. 
I'm going to make him look like he's playing football. I just have to erase this line of this leg because it's in the foreground. There you go. This leg, however, is in the background. And then I'm going to add, of course, a football. I'm just going to make it yellow. And uh, oh, what I should also do is I should probably just make him look at the football. It just makes it look a little bit more real then. So he's looking down and I'm gonna make him look quite sort of concentrated as well at the same time. And remember uh, earlier I was saying, if you put in little white things in the eyes, it just makes the eyes look more sort of moist and, and real as well. So right now you can see he's uh, looking like he's playing football. I'm just gonna add some lines here that sort of give it the illusion of movement. So there you go. So really, that's that's all it takes, um, you know, just to start with the basic stuff with simple shapes and then go for the detail towards the end and then try to uh, invent some kind of movements and expressions in your character. So I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial. Uh, remember that um, these are just the basic principles and you can really apply them to any character that you've invented yourself, whether it's a human character, an animal character or an alien. Um, it, it all applies to all those um, different ones. And um, I would really encourage you to explore and uh, to draw the characters that you've invented in all kinds of different situations and with all kinds of expressions. And as they say, practice makes perfection.